Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 13th of 2019. Well, it is titled a harvest moon. So what do we see here? Well, we do see the full moon rising off over the eastern horizon and the full moon that occurs at certain times of year. And in this case, coming up on September the 14th will be the harvest moon. And it's gotten that name over uh, history as it is the full moon that occurs that would actually give the farmers some extra light to work. So the full moon would be rising as the sun sets. So as the sun sets and it begins to get dark, the full moon would rise, giving its light and giving the farmers some extra time to be able to work on the harvest at this time of year. Now this would occur uh, the full moon here will always rise exactly as the sun sets. And that is because by definition, the full moon is exactly opposite to the sun in the sky. This is also the time when a lunar eclipse would occur if everything is lined up perfectly. Were the sun, the earth and the moon perfectly lined up all the time, every full moon would be a lunar eclipse and the moon would appear that blood red. However, the moon's orbit is tilted a little bit. So most months we do not get a lunar eclipse. Now another thing that is also noted is that the moon and the sun when looking close to the horizon appear to be larger than they are when they're higher in the sky. This is something we call the moon illusion. So is it something uh, really the cause of it is not completely understood why the moon looks so much larger. We know that it truly is not we can make measurements of the apparent size of the moon. Uh, with instruments when it's close to the horizon when it's high in the sky and it's always about half a degree in size so it's always the same size but it does look a lot larger and whether that has to do with it just being close to objects that we uh, know in size or closer to the horizon and maybe we're seeing it relative to here to trees and the farm equipment makes it look larger than it does when it's kind of up in the sky all by itself. There are a number of di different explanations and you can always look around and research some of those yourself to try to find out why the moon might have this but it isn't just the moon, it's any other object, whether it be the moon, the sun or a constellation, anything with with a size associated to it. It wouldn't apply to the stars. And we see a number of stars in this image as well, as they are just points of light. So they do not appear any larger, but anything that has a significant size to it, uh, such as the moon or the sun or even a constellation does undergo this illusion. And it is still a good question as to why things appear to us to be much larger when they're closer to the horizon. So here in this image, we see essentially a making this a harvest moon as we see the harvest going on uh, back in August. And we have the official harvest moon coming up with this next full moon that will be depending on where you are on the earth either today on the 13th or tomorrow on the 14th. So that was our picture of the day for September the 13th of 2019. It was titled a harvest moon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be little planet exoplanets. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.